Hey guys, what is up? Super Bad Ninja here, and welcome to my first video in a long time. Uh, my last video I posted, I believe, was in November. It was a Fallout 4 video, and I want to do some explaining. So I've made a few of these videos already explaining why I le why I left at the time or. Uh, that I'm coming back and I'll be posting videos and I always do come back and post videos It's just it's, it slowly dies off and now I'm here to explain what happened this time so basically let me tell you about my computer my old one it was a HP computer uh, we bought my parents bought it for me a couple years ago at Walmart now at the time I was very grateful and it did exactly what it did to get me you know started with YouTube but then I started caring about quality a lot about quality and uh, I wanted to play bigger games and uh, expand more but I couldn't because of the hardware the PC actually I'll how I'll have a video coming out soon I don't know when but probably in the next week or two of my little setup uh, I'll be going through my monitor my keyboard because I want to have a um, you know, a feel for them before I actually do like a little review. It, it, it's not a review, but basically, yeah, I'll go through what I use for my monitor, what I use for my keyboard, my mouse, my uh, specs for my new computer, and I'll actually show you my old computer in that video. But uh, just to uh, tell you guys about the old computer real quick, it has, first of all, it doesn't even have a power supply. The motherboard supplies the power, apparently. I opened it up to get the hard drive out for I can easily transfer stuff over into my new computer. And it was like, it, I was like shocked. And it has no graphics card, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, it, run, it has a Pentium processor. So I upgraded big time, and I'll, uh, I don't want to tell you guys exactly what I got because I want to save that for the actual video in about a week. But I did get a better uh, computer. I bought it and I built it myself. Actually, I had a friend help me because it was my first time building a computer. But shout out to him, Shane. And um, so we built this computer and it runs great. I did a, uh, I checked out what games it could run. It could run pretty much any game. Uh, it said that it can run, run most games on high or ultra settings and that that's amazing because coming from a guy that you know was running minecraft at 20 fps and dealing with it to running minecraft at like 500 fps now it's it's awesome uh this computer including uh so all the parts within the computer the case itself to the monitor the keyboard and the mouse came to a total of around eighteen hundred dollars a little less uh you guys i'll actually uh, i'm setting up i use pc part picker for this and i'm gonna be doing a completed build soon uh like i said i'm gonna talk about it in that actual post and also post a video so just uh, i'll link that in the description for you guys but um yeah so th let me explain myself so, like I said, this computer hardware issues were, you know, I couldn't, it was hard to make videos. It, it was, um, especially, especially with my Elgato. Um, let's talk about that. So, with my Elgato, it, the computer didn't even come close to meeting the minimum requirements for the software, which ran, which made me run into issues, you know. It still worked, and I still recorded a lot of gameplay. It's just that, you know, the HD60 I bought because I wanted, you know, I didn't understand minimum specs at the time <laughs> i didn't even think about it when i bought it but basically what happens uh is that it can run it can record in 1080p at 60 fps i had to record it in 720p 30 fps with the quality it has like a little quality thing in the software all the way down to good and then when i record it i had to turn off the preview i had to make sure no other uh applications were open like photoshop anything that would uh, has a big cpu usage and anything like that so to just get it to work and sometimes it wouldn't even work with that so like if you guys noticed my batman series ended my uh, life i never finished life is strange i'm hoping gonna i'm hopefully gonna be doing that but i never finished that because 
when I was recording those, I would I think I was, I was recording like five episodes of um, of Batman Arkham Knight, and I went to go check. You know, I'm like, okay, cool, let me go edit, and it was it was glitching out the whole time, and that pissed me off. And finally, I just gave up with Fallout 4 after it happened. And um, actually, from that day on, I I haven't played Fallout 4 because I was like, I I don't like it as much as I thought I would. But anyways, and also with uh, you know, with my Minecraft videos, it was hard to find a map to do because I couldn't play on a server. It was too laggy to record and go on a server and it was I all the good maps uh, I couldn't record because it was too big and it was you know just really complicated and that's the reason why I pretty much stopped doing YouTube and I said to myself that I will make a comeback and I should have made a video explaining uh, what's gonna be happening you know saying hey I'll be back in a few months when I get a new computer but it's been like eight nine or eight months I believe and you know, I'm finally back. It is the beginning of July, and I'm finally back, guys. This computer, like I said, runs like a babe. Runs amazingly, and I love it. And I'll be bringing a lot more videos to you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys later. Peace.